Would you feel safer in a gun? Free state? Why or why not? I am from Brazil. Technically speaking, it's a gun-free country. It's very hard to get a gun here. Of course, I am only considering it legally. Even with a gun or permission, you really can't leave your house with it. It's completely illegal, unless a judge or court owes you. Yet literally every 15-year-old thug in the street has a magnum or something. I feel terrible unsafe, and to be honest, hate the violence from here. Everyone I know was robbed at least once in their lives, and I would feel a lot safer having a gun at my house, since the state is completely unable to remove the guns from the criminals, or at least arrest some of them, and not. Release one month after. The state can't remove guns from criminals if the state is the criminal. I live in Taiwan. It has exceedingly strict gun laws. It's also one of the safest countries in the world in terms of risk of violent crime. I feel very safe even walking alone at night through dark alleys in the city. I've only heard good things about Taiwan. Based on a friend of mine who recently left there to work in Europe, it's full of fast trains, Shiba Inus and 24-hour convenience stores where you can file your taxes. Sounds marvelous. I've lived in three counties so far and traveled to probably 20 or so at this point. Taiwan is hands down the best country so far. The infrastructure is like night and day. You really have to go to understand, but we're living in the dark ages here in America. Our infrastructure looks like a man. Child with development problems took a crayon to AutoCAD. Oh, also, the culture is great. Government is great. Services are great. The 711 are great. Due to 711, I cannot even describe how amazing 711, I cannot even describe how amazing Taiwan. It's like a corner store that's open all the time, has good atten, golf services, healthy food, places to eat, and it's clean. Damn, I miss Taipei. I live in Japan, basically gun-free. Even with a gun murder yesterday, I feel greatly safe from gun violence. Now the elder drivers swerving into lanes randomly, not so safe. Even with a gun murder yesterday, I feel greatly safe from gun violence. It was covered by the BBC yesterday. A single gun murder in Japan, and it was news all around the world. Love how people bring up the assassination of Shinzo Abe as an example of why gun laws don't stop criminals. Sure, one guy had to rig up some kind of homemade arquebus and fire the only two shots it would ever shoot, point blank straight into a former prime minister to kill him, after having been lucky enough to build a contraption without it blowing up in his hands and having gotten close enough to having gotten close enough to his mark with a weapon hidden. That's definitely not going to gatekeep the whole shooting people thing at all. After having been lucky enough to build the contraption without it blowing up in his hands and having gotten close enough to his mark with a weapon hidden. Not just lucky, after learning about the guy he was absolutely driven. It's completely incomparable to the impulse shootings we have in the States. Shinzo Abe was responsible for completely ruining this guy's life. This is the kind of killing that would occur with a rock in the absence of any weapons. More info on how Shinzo Abe ruined the guy's life. I know that he killed him with basically an 8th grade science project, but don't know the backstory. Basically his mom was part of the Unification Church, an international cult, and was essentially giving pretty much all of her income to them. This ruined their lives and knowing that Abe was involved with the Unification Church, he was the target of his resentment. After the assassination, it brought to light how much influence the church has within the Japanese government. His father committed suicide because of the financial strain. Then his brother committed suicide because they couldn't afford his lymphoma treatments. Quite literally, destroyed their family. He is actually receiving a lot of support in Japan for bringing the issues to light. This is the kind of killing that would occur with a rock in the absence of any weapons. For real, dude was on a mission. Shinzo could kept on living, but he made one fatal slip. He tussled with the ranger with a big iron on his hip. I think the whole media converge argument for why gun violence is so prevalent in the US is disingenuous as well. One gun death in Japan and it's worldwide news, but there's shootings every day in the US. Yeah, elder people driving like they have their eyes closed is a problem everywhere in the world. There should be an age limit on the license where people would have to take the exam again. To be totally honest, I simply hate how Yusa is conditioned to be a country where you can't do shit if you don't own a car to move around or ask for an Uber or even a taxi. The huge lack of public transportation unless you're from the city is also ridiculous. That means anyone living at the outskirts that needs this or that is kinda fucked, especially if they're elders that aren't accustomed to how things work nowadays. 
Then again, I'm speaking from my experience as an outsider who lived half a year in San Antonio. I'm aware each state and city is different and whatnot, but I did get a bad aftertaste with that reality check in there. Japan is a country of 125 million people. It was noteworthy that there was a gun murder yesterday. That's a pretty damn safe country. I've been to Japan. I can tell you it's 110% because of the culture. The culture is don't be a dickhead and respect people and everything. Comparing American culture and even Australian culture to Japanese culture is utterly different. Japanese people don't, yes, for the most part, even steal. There's basically no graffiti and the place is spotless. Almost an opposite for the US or us. Here in Ireland, our regular police, Garde, don't even carry guns. There are armed units. Guns exist. Hunting is a sport and farmers might have them for rabbits, etc. I feel extremely safe. I don't ever even think about gun violence here. We have seven guns per 100 people, which is literally nothing considering the population is like 5.33 million. I've lived here all 22 years of my life and have yet to see an armed guard or someone owning a gun. For comparison, the US has about 120 per 100 people. There are more guns than people, which is crazy since about 32% of people in the US report owning guns. Math is my kryptonite, but does that mean each of them owns like five guns on average? That's probably fairly accurate. Gun owners are often collectors as well, and owning a half dozen guns would not be seen as strange. And for every person who only owns one or two, there is the super collector who owns a few dozen. I'm a Canadian, but we still have plenty of guns here, and of all the gun owners I know, I can only think of one that only owns a single gun. I've been to Japan. I can tell you it's 110% because of the culture. The culture is don't be a dickhead and respect people and everything. Comparing American culture and even Australian culture to Japanese culture is utterly different. Japanese people don't, yes, for the most part, even steal. There's basically no graffiti and the place is spotless. Almost an opposite for the US or us. I live in Iceland. I'm more likely to win the lottery than run into someone with a gun. I feel very safe, but not because there is no guns, mainly because I'm in Iceland. Icelander here as well. About 36.5 people are registered gun owners, and there are estimated to be 87 guns circulating in the country. So roughly two per gun owner. That means that at least 10% of the country owns at least two guns. So your lottery chances are slimmer than you thought. The chances of running into someone carrying are next to none though, so I'm still rooting for your lottery odds. That's what I meant, running into a local carrying. I know we use them for hunting, hobbies and collecting, but never seen one in the wild so far. Last time I ran into someone holding a gun, it was outside my house. It's the farmer who lives next door. We had a great chat. He'd recently lost his ratting dog and wanted me to know there'd be a bit of noise that afternoon. Top bloke, I'm in the UK beauty. Edit, there seems to be a bit of confusion, which is my fault. His ratting dog died and therefore he needed to go shoot some rats. I like how you thought top bloke needed to be followed up with I'm from the UK, but a bit different in the north. When I was like 15, 16, me and some friends were hanging out near our houses in like an alleyway network thing beside them. And we had about four cops rock up with weapons searching our bags and things like that because they thought we were drinking. We weren't wasn't the only time. I'm from Switzerland and we have a lot of guns. They have a much different status than in the US. Most people have served in the army and know that they aren't a toy or something to show off, but a deadly weapon that needs to be treated with respect. Switzerland is very safe and I feel safe there too. I moved to Austria where guns aren't as prevalent but still exist. I don't feel a difference. In the US, it's not the existence of guns that would scare me, but the huge amount of maniacs who are ready to shoot anyone before asking questions. It's similar here in Finland. Hunting is fairly common, so there are lots of guns. But getting a gun permit is difficult and legislation for storing guns is strict. So the chance of getting shot is almost non-existent. Same here in Germany. I'm an American that has served in the military. I also hate how some people treat guns here. I think a weapon safety course in school or something would be beneficial. We used to have things like that. Some rural schools still have shooting teams today. Yeah, the no mosquitoes thing is a trap. Midges are almost worse. I live in Australia. We are not gun free, but we are low. Guns. I feel safe. Same. 
I moved to Aus from South Africa and its complete polar opposite. I'll see here too. I don't ever think about guns or gun-related crime. I mean, zero percent of the time. I feel safe. So, I live very close to where Canada's worst mass shooting took place in 2020. My niece's kids lost their aunt and uncle on the father's side to the gunman, one of the victims waitressed at a restaurant we eat at. The man drove through our town during his time, evading the police. And yet, I still feel extremely safe. This type of thing is so rare here, it barely crosses my mind to need a weapon. I wouldn't say he was evading police. Rather, he was killing his way south and the cops just didn't do anything. I'll see here too. I don't ever think about guns or gun-related crime. I mean zero percent of the time. I feel safe. I live in Canada, never seen a gun outside of military or police. I have also never really felt unsafe as a default. True, they dev had their heads up their asses. My sister was sending me messages about it the evening before, and I woke the next morning to her messaging me that her grandchildren's aunt and uncle had been killed, and trying to get in touch with my mother, who doesn't have a cell phone, who always went for early morning walks in town. Chilling. Chilling. I moved to Germany from the US, and I don't just feel safer. I am safer in literally every sense. The chances of me or my family being the victims of violent crime are much lower. Fun fact, the city of Baltimore population, 600k, has more gun murders per year than the entire nation of Germany, population 84 million. Yup, sounds like Baltimore. Dying is the only way to get out of Baltimore, so how'd you get out? I died. Us citizen, retired military, politically liberal, gun owner. I think the biggest problem in the US is not so much guns but gun culture. It's how the gun lobby and an entire subset of the population has romanticized a tool for killing. We have a lot of problems in this country between media radicalizing the public against each other. Inadequate mental health care, financial inequality. It is a breeding ground for violence. But then you add in a culture that makes highly efficient killing machines easily accessible to these same people and you have a recipe for disaster. I have my guns. They are locked up. I am fully trained on how to use and maintain them. I don't want my kids getting hands on them. I don't want a thief getting hands on them. They are present for their intended purpose, and I hope I'm never put in a position where I have to use them. Gun philosophy in the US has merits, but has one unavoidable key flaw. People as a collective are unreliable. I can ensure that I am trained and responsible. I can make sure my family is trained and responsible. But I have no control over anyone else. If my neighbor is an idiot or having a mental health crisis, what will they do with having access to a tool that kills easily, at range with very little effort? The Expanse. Dope-ass character named Amos, talking to another dope character Prax about his background. Depends where, but most likely not. I live in Chikia. People can own guns, lots of people own guns. Yet we are in top 10 safest countries in the world. It's the people who are the problem, not weapons. Not because owning guns are a protected right and owning cars aren't. There's actually no restrictions in owning a car. You don't need a license for that. The license is so you can drive that car on public infrastructure. If you live in a high violent crime area, you'd probably want a gun to defend yourself. If you don't, you probably don't get that. If guns magically disappeared from all of inner city Baltimore, I still wouldn't feel safe walking around. The gangs and homeless scare me much more than the guns themselves. No, because I live in Maryland, eight minutes away from Baltimore, which has some of the toughest gun laws in the country, yet we also have one of the highest gun crime rates in said country. Don't think it would make much difference in this state. Edit. Because everyone keeps telling me that state guns laws don't matter because I can just drive to another state and buy a gun, I'm going to add to my post. You can only do that with long guns and regulated firearms. You can't drive to another state, have a Maryland eyed and buy a regulated firearm in another state that is illegal in Maryland. If a specific type of R was illegal Maryland, and I was a Maryland resident, if I drove to Pi and tried to buy said illegal in Maryland, as soon as the power gun dealer saw my Maryland did, they would turn me away and not sell me said firearm. If Maryland were to ban all guns, the same would stand. No gun dealer outside of Maryland would sell me any guns that are illegal in Maryland. As long as I was a Maryland, as long as I was a Maryland, it... 
I've lived in a red state for 20 years, and the number of times I've seen a gun outside of a shooting range and not in a cock could be counted on one hand. I know the media paints it as the Wild West, but it's just not the case. Sorry to burst your bubble. I live in a state with plenty of guns, and I feel quite safe already, so I guess not. I don't live a lifestyle where gang violence is likely to affect me, and despite the news coverage, I understand that random mass shootings are extremely rare. I don't own a gun, so suicide isn't likely. The statistics look bad, especially when compared to other countries, but when looked at through the lens of my own situation, those statistics really don't make me feel unsafe. That's the big factor. Like 90% of the non-domestic violence happens in very, very, very small parts of the country. Yes, I live in the US and this is spot on. Reddit comments are so insane sometimes, making it seem as though Americans live in constant fear of gun violence and risk getting shot every time we leave the house. 99.99% .99 of Americans will never personally see or be involved in a mass shooting. The vast majority of us will never be personally threatened by a gun. There's a good chunk of the population that's never even seen one that's not in a cop's holster or a display piece. Guns exist and obviously, there are many more in America than most other places, but outside of criminal gun violence, they are not much of a danger to anyone in their daily lives. You are far more likely to die in a car crash or of some medical condition. I don't own any guns, never have, don't really have any desire to, and I'm in favor of stricter gun laws. But the hysteria on Reddit about guns in America truly irks me to no end. It is since so many of you seem to be missing the point. I am not pro-gun and I'm not arguing against gun laws. I believe you can acknowledge there's a gun problem in America without spreading hysteria. My only point here is that Reddit highly exaggerates the risk of random gun violence in America.